Hello everyone, it is Swimplays here, back in another video, I hope you guys are doing amazing. So, we are so close to 10,000 subscribers guys, and I mean holy crap, we are so close. If you are new to my channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button and that post notifications button, it means so much to me guys, like, it is insane. Um, but thank you again everyone who is subscribed and who are, you know, it's okay. Um, also, join the Discord, it's in the description, and if you join the Discord, we do help out people there. And you can also personally just talk to me there, because that's where I help out everyone. Um, I, I am a youtuber who loves to talk to people so I'm very social <laughs> okay so as you can see of this video we are going to be making a color wheel for a tunnel now I know you guys are probably like what do you mean by this um a lot of people are using these tunnels for tiktoks and these really just out of the blend stuff I mean I don't just grade it it's cool it's actually really cool um, and you can use shaders and all this cool stuff um, but uh, someone showed me they have, you know, they had one and it was just a little button one. You could just click the buttons and then change the color. But I thought this is actually much nicer, much easier. And um, I'll show you how we can use it and how we're going to be using it. So when we hit play here, actually, it will spawn us in and it will basically put us right by the machine, of course. But um, it's just a black tunnel I made and then uh, this GUI. So at the moment, it is white. But when you go up to this or when you just in general click it, so as you can see, it's like this. It will change the colors for you. So let me go up more closer to it. Oh, uh, oh, I forgot to do one thing, guys. I totally forgot to ungroup it. So um, let's do that now, actually. So feel free to go in the description and look for models. And feel free to pull this model out. It's going to look like this. And feel free to grab it right here. And it will say item owned when you grab it. That means you own it and you'll be able to import it into Studio. So do that. And then it will spawn in this folder by going into the toolbox up here, going to inventory, clicking this. And it will spawn in this folder. Now all you got to do is unwork this in workspace. So put this in workspace. And ungroup this in starter GUI. Then all you got to do in starter GUI is make sure you adorn it to the color changer. Which will be um, in the neon. Well right here on this black tunnel. And then color changer. Um, so yes now when I play it it will do it perfectly fine. So the reason for us to ungroup these in workspace. And the one in starter GUI is so we can see this all the time. And that it's just because it's in workspace, it's a part. So as you can see, when I put this on the scroll wheel, we have these little H codes. Um, you can get rid of this if you want. I'll show you how. But it's pretty cool. And it has the direct colors. Really cool. And it's changing the parts, as you can tell. You can change the darkness. Um, honestly, this is the coolest script I've made. Um, and I will tell you, and I will say this now, I didn't make it from scratch. I had someone else help me. Um, and I'll show you the dev form and all about it. It's pretty cool. But um, this was by a dev form member. I think it's a Roblox staff member if I'm right. And this is free to use. So it's really nice. But this is all it is. And yes, this is perfect for people who are doing these really vibey um, TikTok things. You know, whatever, how they do it. Um, so let's quickly explain. We have this folder called Neon Tunnel. And this is where we're holding all the parts. As in parts, I mean these little white things. Now, if you are going to make another Neon Tunnel or more parts... All you got to do is just duplicate any of these. And so these are a union. Okay. Now just remember that these are a union. So if you are going to do a new part and I will be testing it with you. So we're going to do that and we're going to be putting in here and this is a normal part. So we're going to do that and then I'll put this to neon. Um, then what we're going to do is we're going to do one thing. Okay. This is the black tunnel. You can change this all you'd like. This just holds the things and I'm pretty cool but just to make sure these are name parts their name part and um, that they are going to be a part or a union and I'll show you what we're doing um, you're gonna have to add it so in here we have the starter UI this is a service UI um, and we have the frame right here which is the picker we have the color right down there the wheel and then we have the text label of course and then the slider over here the ring it's really cool um, so in here is the main script. Now, what I added to this, this is the author, okay, Boat Bomber. You can go ahead and check this Liz link out. He did this all. Um, I'm not really going to be too crazy at, say, uh, at explaining this rather than the part of how to add more parts and everything about it. So we added this local variable called Neon Tunnel, by, which is Workspace Wait for Child Neon Tunnel, which is going to be this right here, which is going to be the folder. Then what we do down here is we make a for loop and we make in pair. So parts, we make a new local variable called parts. In pairs of neon tunnels, so any of uh, anything inside here is going to be called parts. If parts is a union operation, okay, then this. But what you're going to do down here for since these are since we just created one that's not a union right here. So this is a union. This is a part. Then we're going to check if it's a part. So if it's a part, 
then the brick color is be that new one. So then now we're going through both of these if loops, these if statements right here, and we're checking if it's any of these. So when you're adding this, just make sure you check that. But that should be what it looks like. Um, so let me explain this real quick. Um, these are all the local variables. Um, pretty easy. Uh, and I'm going to just explain maybe one of the functions or two. This is a two polar ratchet, whatever diagonal stuff. I don't understand that. I'll explain the update and what we're doing really though. So, uh, okay. So the hue saturation of value is zero, zero, one. And this is the un update function. And what we're doing is we're creating a new local variable called C and we're doing it from HSV, which is the hue saturation of value. And by that, we're going to go from this function right here. Uh, called HSV, and uh, what it is, this is from HSV, is color three dot from HSV. So it's like the colors, of course, um, and hue saturation and value. Um, and we're doing the update sliders, update rings, but what we're doing is we're just grabbing that C, and we're basically sending it to that. So that C is the color. That's that's the new color right here. This is the color. And what we're doing is we're doing color. So for the color that uh, this background color, it's going to be this one right here. And then for the text dot text label, this color is going to change compared to whatever this is. So, um, yeah, I don't know why they did it like this, but either way, what we're doing is we're setting parts dot brick color to brick color dot new dot C. So which is going to be C, which is going to be any of this color on this wheel. So that's kind of just what I want to explain to you guys. I'm not going to explain too much because I actually personally don't know this too well. But I will say right here. So let's say this uh, mouse button down one. So when the wheel are slider slide down equals true wheel down equals true. That's the debounce. We got the slide and update ring update slide, which is going to be these little functions. And I'm not too good at those. So I'm not going to do that because can't explain it. Don't even understand it. <laughs> um, and then mouse move you know update ring slide down wheel down that's what he's doing here so yeah feel free to check this out actually he probably explains more this was actually from a, a big dev form post there's actually a bunch of them out there i thought this was much simpler much easier uh, but yeah i think that's it guys so just make sure to double check that um you know if you need to change it to parse or not so see how it's changing now pretty cool this is really good because you can use this for anything you can have a dj stand you know you can do a lot of stuff so i'd recommend checking that out um but yeah, this is all local, so only you can see this. This is the best part of it. It's all local. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you did enjoy this video. Please feel free to hit the subscribe button and the post notifications. Um, thank you again. And just one more check for you, just so you can understand. We're on the cl client side. See how it's like blue. When we go to the server side, it's going to be white still. So just remember to make that down and note that. Um, that's how you can test client and server. But thank you guys again. I'll see you in another video. Let's get to 10,000 because you know what? We're going to finish this vibe series, do the vibe kit, and then I'll just make a bunch of tutorials, whatever you want. And it can be a vibe, anything. It's just not going to be named vibe game series. So let's do this. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.